What's going on, Fight Fans? It's your boy uh, Shin Ryu back again with another video. And uh, pretty much uh, the announcer, that is Dante's announcement uh, you know, recently. And now, as you guys can see here, um, the whole um, seven days leading to the start of the event has already begun. Uh, I believe it's typically seven days. And um, yeah, so this is countdown has begun. So six days to go now. And before you know it, um, the event is here now obviously with this event which is a crossover uh, there's typically tons of um, questions that always come with it you know in terms of like concerns uh, will it be like the go Magala can event or will it be like the Akuma event uh, we do have a bit of a hint in terms of what it would be like because as you can see here already uh, we already have like special summon tickets that have been provided for us okay now i'm sure you guys are aware i've been buying my special summon tickets often doing my three pool rule which is ticket and uh the last time when i actually did the three pool rule i did i believe it was off camera um i got another Akuma shot on the second attempt so i haven't touched it since and as you can see as of today right now i've been buying my uh, uh tickets and now i'm back to 30 two i haven't bought for today yet i don't think i'll check that shortly but uh what this means is that it looks like it might be a long-term good investment okay of course you're going to have this major burst of the uh summons over here however here is one of my um concerns um which can make it a good thing um with them providing this summon special summons here which as you can see is definitely similar to uh, having you know, go let's go ahead and just call it this rewards quickly um which as you guys see here is similar to the one you buy at the shop tickets here all right because they even tell you it's 32 owned um this gives two situations here the first thing is um which is the unlikely case is that they're just being generous and giving us more akuma uh you know special summon tickets so you can uh, summon for him How, or are they saying that um dante is going to be added to you know the special akuma summon section and if that's the case are you not going to be trying to pull two from the shard i mean from the uh from the you know um the summon um special summon ticket here so um, obviously let me go right ahead and first of all just do my usual purchase here uh even if they're giving us you know quite a bit this is where i've been investing my diamonds and unfortunately that means my bison has been suffering as a result of that okay uh, i've not been able to take him to like even an s uh, ss i don't even think it's an s plus i think it's just pretty much an s right now so uh we are just trying to manage that for the time being because i really want to work on akuma like you know i'm team at satsuken and i'm gonna definitely be prioritizing him over bison um it's gonna affect my end game for sure but uh once i think i've made a descent in the progress then i'll try and pull for you know bison again and see if we can get into just ss plus or ss because i think that is uh, you know typically a good measure where he becomes pretty much effective he's been effective so far he's still getting the job done that's why i've not really pushed it he's still in my squad okay so um going back to what i was trying to say before the special summon tickets here um with that in mind this is typically for akuma uh are you and what i'm wondering is is it going to have the divination effect because it's definitely more well it's like 3k if one think about it in gems is it 3k yeah well generally um how would i put it uh that just is it gonna be you know have the same divination effect where you can actually select who you want to pull you know uh, let's not use division let's use something like you know the faction the choice recruit are you going to be able to select who you want for example and then pull for that character um i don't know if that's the angle they're going to go with or if you now have no choice but to actually oh so you can see there's a wish list here okay cool so now there's actually a wish list here that's going to let you just like you know the faction recruit select who you actually want to summon okay so meaning if you still want to summon akuma you can select akuma in here otherwise once dante comes in you can actually select dante the other thing that actually is making me curious here is this 
would they actually surprise us and actually add Go Miguel Ken to this wish list here? If they do, that would be great because honestly, I have been a bit discouraged recently. Because uh, what I typically do is I select my favorite fighters, I have them all in my head in terms of like their priorities based on obviously their um, agility, their, like, their, their, their combat type, you know, be it power, agility, or technique. All right. And typically, it used to go like this it was Mad Ryu number one, you know, onto once Evil Ryu comes in, it was Akuma number two, it was Bison number three. And it used to be go my Galakia number four. And in that case, I would typically give him a good amount of, you know, um, equipment to boost him up. But because I've not really seen any, you know, um, motivation or any sign that he's going to be available long term. I sort of like just put him on the back burner, any spare, you know, um, equipment I can have, I just put it on him. Otherwise, I pretty much just try and go for, you know, some of the other characters here. Um, do I want to boost anything to that? I typically like to boost the attack stats first. I feel like there's someone in the technique section that has a stat that needs to be boosted. Let me see if it's you. Okay, yeah. Can we? Yep, we can level you up. Let's contribute that for today. All right. I, I, I don't go all out when it comes to boosting these things for now because I want to be able to uh, apply the checkpoint every day in terms of like the, you know, daily missions. Um, but going back to what I was trying to say before, it will be quite amazing if they add um, Go or Magala can to the special summon because that would be great. Like, you know, that could be the extra, you know, surprise that they do for the, you know, community, especially since a lot of them have been sort of like discouraged with how part of the game has been going. As you can see, I haven't really put my content out recently. I don't want to like put the necessary stuff out there. The AWA is just pretty much self, you know, explanatory, just trying to get to the top, whatever. And otherwise, unless, you know, one you want to be creative I, i'm not seeing any major reason as to putting something else out there because i'm not sure there are more you know solidified you know or contents within not to post something else so um as you can see um that would be great and also that would also mean that we don't have to worry about dante being a limited character because that is also awesome as well I meaning you can take your time to build him as well um i haven't seen his kit yet I don't think, I don't know if anything has been put out yet because sometimes whenever you go over to the gallery and stuff like that, you tend to see the new characters already. Nothing here yet. Um, and I have no idea what faction it's going to fall under, if it's going to be, you know, or Infernal or if it's going to be Master. Um, I like to guess, it doesn't mean I'm going to be correct. I think he may be Master because, you know, well, he might, you know, I'll, I'll go for Master for now, but we'll see what it turns out to be. Uh, we know definitely it's going to be a legendary character, so that's good on that. Um, so now, um, here's the thing now that's also come to my mind in terms of like what I've been thinking about as well. So, you guys remember, uh, you guys can see right now, we actually popped up a few times, the Destiny Tired is back, okay? Now, um, and the reason why I'm actually saying this is with regards to the exchange here now in the past you know we've had a lot of people talk about how it makes a lot of sense to invest in most of these other limited you know uh things like the breakstones you know the uh, experience you know uh whatever and as far as the money as well you know whatever can push you or car your main character up above the list but i've always been had a bit of a um you know, um, determination to try and boost my master characters that are typically Rose, Jan, and Jury, uh, uh, Inferno Jury, and you know, uh, Bison, the primary Infernos and Master that have come up. Of course, the only people that typically show up are so far Jan, Jury, and Rose that have popped up here, okay? But this is one of the easiest way to sort of like get a guaranteed, you know, copy without wasting Divination you know, uh, diamonds, right? Um, and the reason why I say that is because this looks to be a continuous, you know, event uh, and, um, you know, a marketplace that will keep on coming up as long as there is like the crossover events or this. So not even crossover event. Once there's an event and there's always going to be an event, at least it's been every month so far. I don't know, is it every two months? 
either every two months or every month but that means you have the chance to always get one of these characters and i feel it'd be justified that i've been going for them instead um the only of course pref um, annoying thing is you can't retain this tart essence i don't think you can uh so you're typically forced to spend everything otherwise you know people are just gonna just know for sure that horde and all that stuff so that's what i want to say about that um it, it seems like a good you know uh decision to make as well of course uh, when it comes to the um the special summon tickets here that depends on if you're prioritizing akuma not many people are my, for example my brother isn't uh, some people are doing that which is actually great as well um but otherwise um you know the other thing is that you can always prioritize you know boosting your characters in the turret as well you know take you up there and of course once you hit the limit go on to the next level because it's going to get to a point where you're going to need multiple teams as you can see for example in the hwa which i think i'm sort of like struggling at for now um but what we can do is i'm going to say pretty much i'm excited about the dental event it's going to be you know interesting to see how everything actually goes what rewards you can actually get uh but um, we're gonna do like a triple rule to round things up here with Akuma and let's see if we're gonna be lucky or not you know like I said I have only it's only not worked out for me once so far uh, and I think that was the time when I had pulled some recent characters and I actually you know um, went ahead and just went straight for him I'm gonna just run some random uh, you know uh, challenge here let's try this one here see if i'm actually successful oh man look at the characters man like this is what is actually cost me right now having my bison not yet on this level is been a major challenge for me okay and it's made sure that i've not been able to break into the top 200 all right or you know break into the 200 i got in once but then of course my characters aren't that strong, so they got kicked out not too long after. Um, do I have any missions that yet to be completed? Okay, just to win one. I haven't been able to win since better characters have been in the game. Now, of course, you can refresh, but I'll save that for later. Let's just do like a regular challenge, for example. Let's do something, one of those, you know, expected stuff. Like, have I done Arena yet? Uh, okay, I've done Arena, so I'll just skip that. Uh, have I done Supreme Feast yet? Let's see. Um, I don't know if I attempted any wind one for today. Okay, this one's a complete. Cool. Just pick all that. And let's go to Supreme Fist. We're going to make an attempt at a wind faction here. Uh, most people have the wind as one of the strongest factions where they can actually auto it. That's not me for now. So we're going to go right ahead and try and see if we get lucky with um, the wind faction here. Um, just go right ahead and just put, um, you know, Chun Li at the back. And let's set the default here, okay? I'm gonna want Gao to attack. Gonna let. Hmm. Wow. Is that all I get? That is not a nice combination. So, each time they have a lot of. Let's see. This is. Let's go to skills. Two, three. Nobody has one. Not apart from Gao. I don't want Gal to be in the two. Um, I want somebody else. Okay, so let's do this back here again. And this time I'm going to go right ahead and just go with Gal again. Gonna go with Street Poison. Go with Beast and Give and then end with Gal. Alright. So let's see if we're lucky against this set of teams. And after that, we're going to pull for Akuma and then we're going to wrap things up from there. Okay, now let's see if we're gonna be lucky because we already have you know over 30. I mean, I can actually apply the triple rule in this case. I almost forgot to put that in auto. Just go to four stars. Come on, guys, you guys, okay, you can do something good for now. It's looking good, okay? Alright, let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that didn't work out. Okay, um, that was uh. Boss, let's try again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the comments to come to pile up, get close to the second attempt, and then let's see if they can rush everything. All right, come on, guys. Come on, guys, you can do it. 
Oh my god, I, I see that, I always see that this one tends to work a bit more because it means once you've gone through your first combo, you have a chance to like do one more set of combo and he helped to the auto. Alright, cool. So now we're going to go over to the special summons here. It's been a minute. I haven't even done regular draws in a while uh, because I don't have up to, you know, 30 for the regulars. Like I'm on 24 here. I want to be using, um, you know, the regular... Um, uh, arcade stone and um, arcade coins for this and of course I'm just on 10 in divination whatever so let's go ahead and let's do this until we my time remember if we get it on the first attempt then we stop if we get it on the second attempt we stop we can't even go beyond three for sure so we're just gonna just go right ahead and just see so first attempt nothing this um this particular summons has been pretty mean Oh, second attempt, we got it. Another Akuma Shard, that's awesome. Alright, so you already know what that means. It means we have the chance to stock up more and not get in any other one added, okay? So here we go, Akuma, and then we finish there. That's all I do, okay? It's all patience for me. You guys know the way it is. Once I stop here, pull on I don't know if when you're too aggressive with the pulls, then it doesn't work out. But if you take your time, play through the game, whatever, then you're lucky. I don't know how it works, you know. But like I said, three pull rule for me. Only one time it, it didn't work out for me was when I was pulling the regular, you know, um, shards here. And right after that, I didn't do anything random. I just went straight to try and pull for Akuma. I'm not saying it works. Don't, don't think, I'm not saying it works at all. But... I have been privileged, I've been lucky for it to work. So now, what that means is that I have Akuma on S, and I have Akuma, a spare Akuma to awaken upon my next attempt, and hopefully, uh, we can get him to S plus in the next run. Uh, thank you guys for your time today. Appreciate your time, uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget, once again, to like and subscribe. Um, Check out my other videos as well for other content. Let me know what you guys like to see in my videos and my recordings. And once again, you guys have a great one. Cheers.